Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and this video I'm gonna show you most used notes part 3 so without any further ado, let's begin you remember from last video we did talk about utilities flow control through to for loop okay and now I wanna show you another for loop so right click go to utility and in flow control create this for loop with break okay so let's just compare them it has all that this for loop has but it has a break pin as well so if we delete this and bring this up connect the execution pin to this print string we don't need this so, and we connect this to here you know that this node is converting integer to the string and if we delete it and connect this uh, directly it will convert that for us automatically right so the, let's say the first index we want it to be zero and the last index for, uh, we want it to be a big number right so it will uh, start from zero to that number and it will increase its value by one each time because it is integer right and in the output each time that it it is increasing its value it execute whatever that is connected to this loop body in this case this print string and this print string get that index for example first time is zero next time is one and next time is two and convert it to a string and show it okay so if we compile it it's just working let's just clear this lag it's just working like a regular for loop okay and you can see it's just a start counting up to that value let's just stop it but with this break input it's just a stop over for loop whenever this break is triggered the next notes that i want to talk about let's just again go to utility go to flow control and in here is gate let's just connect this gate for me to be able to explain it clearly if we connect our execution pin to the inter if the start close is false like this the exit pin will execute whatever that is connected to that exit pin so let's just delete this it's just printing hello right and it will show hello once because this event began play play once okay if we run it will show us hello and because we use event begin play it's just play it once if we started closed it won't execute this exit pin okay so let's just compile and delete this login here run and you can see it won't show us anything why because because this node is a start closed okay so let's just start open for testing the opening of this gate i want to use event tick instead of this event begin play and connect this to enter okay so it will happen 60 times per second know that is a start open if you run it it will print hello 60 times per second okay or 30 times per second or whatever your fps is okay so if we add a for example key b whenever we hit the b button on our keyboard this gate will be open so if we started closed whenever we say we hit b on our keyboard it will be opened and after that it show this hello string 60 time or 30 time per second okay so let's just run it delete all of this log and you can see it doesn't show anything but if we hit b on our keyboard it start writing hello 60 or 30 time per second of course we can set another key like key n for example for a stop for closing this loop okay so again if we compile it and delete this log in here run it you can see that nothing happened because it has start closed but if we hit b on our keyboard it has start writing hello and if we hit n on our keyboard it will stop writing that hello and you can see it stopped there the next is this toggle button so if we just connect this n pressed in here and delete this b okay 
if I hit this end button on my keyboard one time it will it will make this note open and if we hit it again it will close it and if we hit it again it will open it and it will do it over and over again so if we compile it and run it let's just clear the log if we hit n it will show if we hit, if we hit n again it will stop showing if again if we hit n again it will show and if we hit n again it will stop showing that hello message so that was for this gate so next note that i want to talk about in utility flow control is this multi gate let's just delete this and put this in here connect this to execution pin and this multi gate it's like when you want to run several thing together several node together so for example we want to say hello and after that we want to say for example print a string and in here say the name navi you know that this is using cpu so it first execute whatever that is connected to this out zero pin and after that it executes whatever that is connected to this uh, out one pin but it happened too fast and player think that it's happening at the same time and you can add another pin to it for for out, out two okay so again we can say print a string and in here say what's up and we can connect this here and if we run it compile it and run it let's just clear, clear this log play it and you can see it says hello name what's up we didn't change the name so it in here it says name hello name what's up so it happened too fast that you can see it okay so let's just change this name and show it again and in here clear this log and you can see that it says hello navit what's up and it happened fast the next pin is reset so whenever this pin is executed it will start again so if we connect this pressed end button on our keyboard to this reset again it will reset it so if you run it and hit it will show hello navit what's up if we hit n our keyboard again it show it if we hit n again it will show it the next pin is is random so at the default it will start from zero it execute whatever it's connected to zero after that out one and after that out two but if you want to randomize this you can check this and it will randomize the execution order of this output pin in here so let's just compile and clear this log and you can see it no it said navit what's up hello if we hit n on our keyboard again it says navit what's up hello and again if we hit it it will randomize the order of doing that so you can see in the third one it says what's up hello navit and again hello navit what's up and each time it the execution order will be changed the next one is this loop so if we check this uh, it will loop again and again and again so let's just uncheck this is random and check this loop and you can see it print hello navit what's up hello navit what's up and it, it will do it again and again and again and let's just clear this log and run and you can see it's just doing it like a for loop right so we have this so if we uncheck this again it will do it once so the next pin is start index so if you put minus one you said that use your default that is from zero one two three four but if you want to start from one you can put one in here and it will start from one after that two after that zero until all of the pin output pin is executed once but if you put it to the loop it will start from one to zero again one to zero and it will do it like that okay so that was for this multi gate let's just delete it and go to the next node in the flow control 
The next note is this retriggerable delay. So what is the difference between the delay and retriggerable delay? So let's just create, create this delay as well. So what is the difference between these two? This delay, if we, uh, for example, connect this and pressed key to this execution pin, what will happen is it's wait for for example two seconds and after that it print what's up for example okay and you know it by now but if we connect this press to here and connect this to here if you hit n on your keyboard it will stay two seconds and after that show this what's up but before this two second runs out if you hit again it will stay two more seconds to show this print a string. So let's just delete this delay and bring this down so you can see it clearly. Compile. And if we run our game, in here, if we hit N, it wait two seconds and it will show what's up for us. Okay. And if we hit N um, multiple time, it won't show it unless you stop triggering the end button and it wait after the last end button that you push and after that two second it will show the whatsapp again and you can see it so that was for this retrievable delay again let's just go to utility to flow control and this sequence let's just bring it up connect this press to here it's like a simpler way of gates note so if we connect this to here and connect this to here, it will execute these two pin in sequential order fast, okay, without any delay. If you hover over this, it show you executes a series of points in order, but it do it fast. You can have multiple nodes in here. So if we play it, whenever we hit NR keyboard, it should execute this then zero note first and after that then one z uh, pin and it will print the what's up so let's just compile and run and if we hit on n or, or keyboard it says now it what's up so the next utility flow control nodes that i want to show you is while loop okay we use while loop a lot so let's just bring it up here and connect this pressed in here i know you know what it does what it does it create a loop that it runs whatever that is connected to this loop body until this connection is false and if we check this condition and it is true now this loop body will be run over and over and over again as long as this condition is true and if we make it false it will stop wherever it, it is you shouldn't do that you should then always connect this condition to something like when player is dead or whatever you should make this condition false at some point and if we test this the Arial engine will, will give us a error because it will make a infinite loop right so let's just go to the last node in utility flow control that is switch case okay there is a lot of switch case you can do it switch you can do switch case on a string on int on anything that you have a, a static value that you can compare your value with okay so for example if you go down you can see that there is a lot of switch case in here let's just do switch on int and in here let's just delete this while loop in here and if we connect this n to here first of all we can add some pin okay so if the number that we are connecting to this selection in here if it's zero this will should this should run and if uh, the number that we put in here is one it will execute this one and if we add another pin and the selection pin is two it will 
run this okay and if the number is something that we don't have it in this selection here like five it will go to default okay so for example print a string and in here i want to say default so that's how switch case is work so in this case you can see that we set five in here and this is zero this is one this is two so we don't have the condition to meet this selection okay so it will go to default and it says default so if we compile and go to our game let's just clear this log run and hit n or in our keyboard it says default and again if you go here and change this selection to one it should trigger this one pin in here that says navid okay so let's just compile it to see if it's saying navid or not if you hit n no it showed the navid in here okay you can see it and that was for all the nodes in utility flow control we will have a lot of videos about nodes and i will explain all of them in details and after we have some basic knowledge of most used nodes in Unreal engine 5 we create our cool game with that knowledge it's my honor to have you here at the end of this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel it motivates me to create more video like this for beginners and even pros in future thank you very much for watching bye